Hey Internet, Josh Stuckwist here. You guys asked me a bunch of questions in the comments the other day, and today I'm going to answer as many of them as I can. So before the pandemic, I used to perform a weekly stand-up comedy show, and we had free wine for the people who came to see the show, and sometimes we would give away free promotional tickets as well. One day, we were, someone came with a free ticket and complained about the quality of our free wine. They're like, oh wait, this isn't this is good wine, I don't like- Your ticket was free, the wine was free. Go buy your own wine. So this is my office and I do use a standing desk, which for me, I guess technically is more like a balancing desk, like I'm a, like a balancing pogo stick desk like all day. And so in that sense, yeah, my foot can get tired from like the little micro movements of balancing. The two liter story, of course. Most of my costume ideas actually come from you guys, so if you have any, please put them in the comments. And each year, or like in spring or summertime, I just think, which one seems best to me? And then I make that one night. Nope. Also, no. So you guys were doing that wrong. The line is, we should hang out sometime. The whole point is that it is an opinion, not a yes or no question. If you say, can we hang out sometime? It's too easy for me to just say no and blow you off. Totally. I rarely dream about having two legs. Sometimes I wear artificial leg in my dreams. I don't really have control as to the position of my phantom leg. I can only I can only flex the ankle and the toes. I can't move the hip or the knee, so it's not really up to me. So it's just like depending on where my body is, that's what controls where the leg is. Chill out, worry less, go to more parties. It's hard to say exactly, but I'm at about half the normal human average. So rude. How dare you? Just kidding. The prosthesis is really painful and I get around really well on my crutches. <laughs> Wait, like the top three weirdest? <laughs> like, like, I don't know if I even think of, of one. Does everybody have three weird experiences with bacon? Yeah, it happens all the time. You would not believe how often I have to convince people I'm not made of plastic and that I'm not pink. If you can become comfortable with yourself and your body, then other people will be too. I've started writing a new book. I've gotten to play a ton of video games. I grew an epic beard. I've gotten to catch up on years of Netflix shows and some other cool things that I'm not allowed to tell you guys about yet. During the pandemic, I played Witcher 3, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Hitman 1 and 2, and currently I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but of course, I'm most excited about Cyberpunk 2077. Probably the Pink Flamingo, although technically was it even a costume since apparently, according to some of you, I am a plastic Pink Flamingo lawn ornament already, apparently. If someone doesn't like me because I'm an amputee, that person is lactose intolerant. You people asked for a pun. There it was. So in the credits of Taylor Swift's new concert movie on Disney+, Plus, there is the name Josh Sunquist. Toby, that is not me, Josh Sunquist. That is other Josh Sunquist who if you've been around for a long time, you know we used to be friends on Facebook and then he defriended me uh, because uh, too many internet viewers were friending him. But now we're friends again. Here's why we're friends, because other Josh Sundquist manages my cousin's band. My cousin, Jeff Sundquist, who is not related to Josh Sundquist, other Josh Sundquist, but he is related to me. So other Josh Sundquist and I happen to meet just by chance at a concert of my cousin. <laughs> Pandemic laziness, also Vikings. 
Definitely one of my primary objectives before the vaccine is distributed widely and quarantine ends is to have this beard be long enough that I can braid it and put beads in it like a Viking. So stay tuned to find out.